Today is Thursday, August 29th, 2019. So, it's going to be a good day. I hope it will. So, I went to Puerto Rico and picked up my mom with my brother. My mom was my mom was diagnosed with Alzheimer's back in 2016. Obviously, as many know, you really don't really get diagnosed, you know, noted noticed until like 10 to 12 years later. So. My dad started seeing strange things. I'm not really sure what was the beginning of that because he has not elaborated on that. Um, just, you know, a little bit of forgetting and stuff and it took her and they sure they diagnosed that she had um, the symptoms of Alzheimer's. They did an MRI and they did find all, you know, what, you know, what the disease was so um i went to puerto rico after a lot of fighting with my dad not fighting but just a lot of um it was very challenging to get him to say yes but um reason was that he really thought he was able to take care of her and you know the uh her condition got the best of him it just got very challenging. He's not healthy himself. Uh, that said, uh, it just got a little bit more overwhelming than, than the normal. Um, she is with me now. Um, oof. I think it's harder to accept. I think it's harder to accept. Than anything else, she gets her good days, she gets her bad days. Her good days are um, when she is smiling and it's so weird how you're able to pick it up. You know, like the first day, she was a little nervous. We got in, and she was trying to avoid just like the whole getting ready to welcome the night. She was just acting like she was just visiting. I don't blame her. It was her first night, and I would probably, I would definitely be the same way at anybody's house. Um, it's my home. So I told her, I said, okay, so, you know, let's lay, let's go to bed. And she's like, no. You know, like, what, why? What am I doing here? So we finally managed to, and I told her, I said, you know, I hadn't showed her her room. We got her clothes ready in the room already. But, of course, that doesn't get retained for too long. So I told her, so we go into your room. I'm going to stay with you in your room. So then she was a little okay. Um. You know, taking a shower. She took a shower. I stood right. She's like, please don't go too far. So I stood right by the door. I normally just sit by the floor, just listen to her to make sure I don't hear. I don't know. I'm still, um, although she did stay with me um, for about three months, like a year ago. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Um, I apologize. Um, she did stay with me about a year ago. But, of course, you know, her condition kind of got a little, a little worse. Um, so I need, you know, I need to know, like, and it changes every day. Every day is just a little different, at least... I'm not sure how normal or how normal that is. Um, I'm sure that everybody's 
it's different, but she's just, you know, you just have to kind of like pick up the signs to see how she's just, and, and, and roll with it, you know. So anyway, you know, she um, was going to the, you know, she went to sleep and she was holding my hand the whole night. And she she talks she mumbles a lot in her sleep. Um, she got up like maybe five times throughout the night, saying that she had to use the restroom. And I walked her, of course. She wakes up. And then, you know, we try and do the routine. I'm trying to help her as much as I can at this point because I'm not really sure what she could do and what she not, she's not able to do. But at the same time, I'm trying to make her comfortable and let her know that, you know, I'm her daughter. I'm there to help her. So I'm just trying to, like, do, you know, what I feel that she wants to do. I know her well. Um, for the most part, I, I've taken her to... Um, you know, doctor's appointments, like, my whole life when she was with me. She stayed with me a whole lot um, throughout my years, uh, even, you know, married and with kids and stuff. Um, so I know her when she has, like, high blood pressure or over the phone. You know, I can tell a lot about her. So, but anyway, I, I assured her that I was, I'm there. I'm there. She's my mom. Anyway, today is her uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today's her fifth day with with us. Um, out of the fifth, uh, out of the five days, there was one day that she was really, really out of it, and she was very emotional. And she said to me, she's saying. Like, I, you know, like she was saying to me, I don't know why I'm in this house, and why am I here? And you know, she would every once in a while say that to me. And then she started. She told me a story about, uh, you know, when she was young, that her dad. She confuses. She mixes my father, her dad, and my brother. Um, you know, like in a story, she'll talk about one of them, but she'll mentioned the three of them and um, the three of them are this one person she's talking about so but she was telling me that she was she suffered a lot and that um, that she suffered a lot and that um, she one day ran away and she ran away with this girl that the, the young girl on the block and everybody told her that she was a good person and you know like my her dad and again this person and that um she left with her and then she started walking down the block but then she realized she didn't want to leave she wanted to stay home and she just did and then it sounded with her story it sounded like she was like saying that she came with me but she really wanted to go home with everything that she was saying to me so I put it also in that story she put me in there and and then I said to her I said mommy do you know who I am and she looks at me and she's like your, you know, her, that person. She told me I was that person. And I said to her, I said, Mommy, I'm your daughter. I'm Pebbles. And she's like, I. And then she's like, oh my God, why didn't you tell me that? And she started crying and crying and crying. And I started crying because that's, that's been my look, biggest nightmare. Like this whole time. Um.
you know, but it's okay. You know, I, I got it together. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. We, you know, we're going to work through this together. That's why we're here. So we can work with this and, you know, and it's okay. So she, she cried and I guess she let out finally what she's been feeling this whole time that she was there and you know I, I realized that I got myself together and I told her it's okay that's the reason why you're here I'm going to find the best doctors I'm going to try and do what I can and you know my brother is being a huge part in it he is um, like right now he's home with her I have another brother, uh, and I have three sisters. One lives in Hawaii, and is totally unable to um, be here. Uh, but she will be here soon, and she'll be, um, you know, our, our third, third leg. Um, and then my other sisters, they, you know, they have their thing going on. They're unable to help out right now um, and again maybe it's just they haven't been able to accept it's not I think it's harder to accept her condition than anything else so I think that's what that is about um, but anyway she had that episode and every time she looked at me she she remembers and she gets emotional and she's like I'm sorry my daughter I love you she comes to me she hugs me Ugh. um you know uh, last night my brother came when he got to the house she got she was nervous and I, I could tell you could pick it up in her eyes she, her eyes get wide open and she's just looking around and I said to her um okay and she's like and she calls me over and she says to me that you know like I'm scared everybody's gonna go to sleep soon and I don't know what I'm gonna do and I said to her I said, mommy this is your house your room is upstairs and we go into sleep upstairs and she's like oh okay that makes a difference and I said this is my house okay so, you know, that she was okay. And she stood by my side. She did not leave me for a minute. Um, so we went up and, you know, we went to bed. And she was happy with that. She slept all night um, until 5.40. Which I had to get up and I wanted to make sure that she used the restroom before I left. You know, because, you know. Whatever. So, I am a little nervous. I know my brother's gonna be okay. He loves my mother so much, of course. What kid doesn't love their mom? I, I am worried about him. He's, you know, I told, it's gonna be more mind draining emotionally draining than anything else um, yeah yesterday I was trying to like get some rest because I couldn't sleep the night before I sleep with her every night I wouldn't do it any other way I wouldn't be able to sleep anyway so I sleep with her every night and um I was exhausted yesterday. I think my body was just giving up on me. And I set up the whole mode. And I turned the blinds off. Turned the TV on. And her novella. And then put her feet up. And the lazy boy covered her. Made her all nice and cozy. And I do the same. And then she says to me, I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm like, okay. So we get up. And in less than an hour, I think we got up like maybe six times. <laughs> that was a very little rest, but it was okay. It's, you know, it's okay. She gets very antsy. And then she's like, no, I can't sit here all day. 
I have to get up. I have to stretch my legs. I have to, you know, whatever. And I'm like, okay, so let's go for a walk. And we went and took a half a mile walk around the block. And she was happy. Um, that was good. Um, so, yes, it's going to be a little challenging for my brother. I know he's going to be okay. Um, she does need some help with dressing and stuff, but I took everything. I got everything ready for her, so they will be fine. smile. 